as well as being a PhD student, I work as a primary school teacher. One day, a student came up to me and said, Ms. Uchida, why are you at school every day? Are you a real teacher? You see, I work as a casual relief teacher, also known as a substitute teacher. I replace the usual classroom teacher when they're absent because they're sick, on leave, or for any other reason. The chances are you have been taught by a casual teacher during your time at school. That innocent question from my student got me thinking, how do other casual teachers conceptualize their professional identities? And how can I capture their identities in a concise way? My research used metaphors to explore casual relief teacher identities in Australian primary schools. Metaphors can be a useful tool for self-reflection. It allows teachers to encapsulate their personal and intrinsic worldviews, perspectives and values. It also allows researchers to gain deep insights into how they see themselves and their work. I collected metaphors from 39 teachers using a survey. One teacher said that she was a butterfly flitting in and out of different classrooms without a place to rest her wings. Another compared casual teaching to like riding a roller coaster, but for a split second you think that your seatbelt has come undone. <laughs> Another said that she was a gardener, making sure that the students are learning in a peaceful and harmonious learning environment. On the other hand, another said that she was a zookeeper or a circus ringmaster trying to maintain control in a classroom full of animals. And lastly, we had a casual teacher who said she was an emergency paramedic diving headfirst into the classroom without knowing any of the students that she was teaching. Now, why are these metaphors important? And why should we care about these casual teachers? Well, a recent study has found that students are taught by casual teachers for a cumulative equivalent of up to one year throughout their time from kindergarten to year 12. So that's your children, siblings, nephews, nieces, being taught by casual teachers for one whole year. They make up a significant proportion of the teaching workforce and they teach countless students over the course of their professional careers. These metaphors help us understand who they are as teachers, the realities they face in the classroom, and the relationships they cultivate with the students. My findings indicate that these teachers need more support and recognition. They deserve things like mentorships and inductions so that they feel valued at schools. Whether they're butterflies or paramedics, they are legitimate educators who make significant impacts upon students' lives and education. My hope is that by getting to know these teachers in a deeper way, it will create an environment where all teachers are perceived as real teachers. Thank you.